amblyopia. Amblyopia is very common. Uh, I've certainly seen studies uh, saying that maybe up to 2% of the population has some degree of amblyopia. All amblyopia is is vision loss without obvious organic cause. Here's the theory behind it. Kids, their brains are still forming uh, until about age 6 or 7. And the wiring from the both of the eyes travels through the brain, a third of the brain is devoted to the visual pathway, all the way back to the occipital cortex. This process is plastic, it changes over time, kids are flexible, it's amazing. Now, if both eyes are working, everything forms fine, but what if you have one eye that doesn't see as well? Well, as the wiring is forming, the better eye starts to develop connections much stronger, and the weak eye doesn't develop those connections in the brain nearly as strong. In some ways, the eyes are competing with each other, at least on the brain scale. So, how do you treat this? You penalize a good eye, you force that, quote, lazy eye to work, that way the wiring can form into the back of the brain, and so that lazy eye can see into the future. Kids can develop amblyopia very easily if they have one eye that doesn't see well. They might have a congenital cataract. They might have one eye that's very nearsighted compared to the other eye, or farsighted. Um, one eye may turn inwards, and so in order to develop, to keep from getting double vision, they learn to use one eye and ignore the other one. A lazy eye can easily develop into amblyopia, and if that wiring doesn't form properly, or you don't force it to form properly, you can fix the eye all you want in the future, but the eye will never see that well because the wiring never quite formed right. So amblyopia, important to pick up and treat the underlying cause and force that lazy eye to work by using patching in the other eye. Okay, next topic, leukocoria, the white pupil. Uh, 